the daughter of the late prophet tb joshua miss promise joshua reacts to the claims of pastor joseph david that the family of the late prophet has been threatening his life and that of other disciples of the synagogue church of all nations and also hunting them with law enforcement agents she said these were allegations against the family she stated that pastor david and the disciples were only trying to give the church a bad name because their obscene acts were exposed Speaking on the case with the EFCC, Ms. Promise Joshua explained that the family saw a CCTV footage of some persons moving money from the church vault, claiming that some drivers who were involved in the act had made confessions which implicated the disciples. She also denied that the family was getting rid of those who worked with her father. She said we were only asked to leave till when the church would start functioning again. She says, these people talking are those I believe are guilty. All the other ones went to the EFCC and returned after they were interviewed. All they had to do was to explain what happened because there is video evidence. I don't know why they are running. If you are not guilty, go and explain yourself. A spokesperson from the EFCC, Wilson Owajiren, reportedly confirmed that the case was being handled by the Lagos office of the agency. A report by the nation also stated that a letter by the EFCC's Lagos State Zonal Commander, Amd Kali, said 20 disciples of the late Prophet T.B. Joshua were being investigated for allegedly siphoning funds and breaking into the church vault. Report has it that the ministry's lawyer earlier reported that the head of the Synagogue Church of All Nations Lego Department, James Akibe, said huge cases of financial misappropriation were being discovered after the demise of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Akiwe said that was why some disciples and workers of the church were being investigated. He also said that the affected workers are not being mistreated as being reported in the media.